What is up all my dorks, nerds, geeks, and gamers? It's your host Ghost here, and today we're going to be talking about a new episode of Wet Ink. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters Attack at Dawn. Uh, this is issue 4 of 5 of the Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunter storyline. Uh, that is a massive crossover uh, between all the bounty hunters, Boba Fett, uh, the Resistance fighters such as Leia, Chewbacca, Lando, um, and on top of that, Darth Vader, the Huts, every c criminal underbelly is involved. Uh, so far it's been a great story. Uh, we last left off with Darth Vader threatening to cut Han Solo in half uh, if, Luke, if Luke Skywalker did not show up. And we pick off exactly where we left off there. Uh, with that threat being stated and Darth Vader still holding his lightsaber over Luke Skywalker ready to uh, do the deed and cut him in half. Uh, we then cut to Leia and uh, Lando and Luke who are basically talking to... Er, Leia, Lando, and Chewbacca who are basically talking to Luke uh, telepathically through the Force. Luke's basically saying, I don't think I'm going to land. If I do, it's going to end bad for me. Um, and then all of us will be kind of screwed in that situation. Uh, so he's like, I'm going to fly around. I'm going to bring Darth Vader to me. Um, and that's basically all I can really do for you guys to help out. Uh, so that, that's what happens. He basically tells them that. And they plan on uh, attacking with or without Luke. Uh, then they end up, you know, giving in his plan and letting him do his plan. Uh, so they follow through. And then we cut to the huts who are having a back and forth argument between both clans of the Huts, between Jabba, Jabba and his cousin. Uh, so yeah, they're arguing back and forth. We won. Why are we letting the Republic take him away? Why are we letting the Empire take our, our bounty away? Um, and Jabba's like, because the Empire protects us, blah, blah, blah. So they have two very clear different sides on where they stand in this matter. Uh, so it'll be very cool to see if that, that, conflict, that conflict between both Hut uh, factions can lead to a resolve later on down the road. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, then we cut back to Boba, who is trekking down uh, the... He's going to the uh, the Republic area where Han Solo is being held, where Darth Vader took him. We also have Luke Skywalker, who is flying around, kind of keeping Darth Vader distracted, while Leia, uh, Chewbacca, and Lando try to land on the planet so they're ready there whenever Darth Vader lands and they can get Han Solo out, whatever they need to do for a rescue mission. Uh, but then Han Solo gets attacked by another bounty hunter uh, called Dingar, uh, who is the guy with the rifle and the turban on his head. Uh, but yeah, it's a very cool fight. They see each other, they get down and dirty. Uh, he basically warns them that I'm going to take Boba Fett from you, or I'm going to take Han Solo from you. So him and Boba Fett get into a major fight. Uh, but it's not a fair fight. Uh, Dengar has a, a person with him, and his name is Valance, who is another, per, uh, another uh, uh, bounty hunter type person. He's more like a... Uh, He's more like a Han Solo type than he is a bounty hunter type, uh, but he's got like a cyborg face. Uh, so yeah, these two try to fight Boba Fett. Boba Fett ends up using his rockets on Dung Durgan, uh, knocking him in the ice, making him float away, so he's kind of stuck there on the ice by himself. Uh, so then he goes after Valance, and they have a good fight. Um, but before they can actually, before Valance can finish off Boba Fett, uh, Boba Fett makes the uh, case that, hey, we're after the same thing, maybe we can actually team up for this one time. Um, and Valance is like, well, you just turn your back on me, you don't team up with anyone. And he's like, you're right, I don't team up with anyone. So when I offer you a team up, take the team up. Um, and eventually he does take it. Uh, so they go, they're on their way to this big ship where Han Solo is being held, where Darth Vader took Han Solo. Uh, we then cut to Leia, Lando, uh, C-3PO, and uh, Chewbacca, who are also uh, find this area where he's being held. Uh, so they're kind of waiting there for the uh, right chance to enter. Uh, this, this place because they see security is watching out and everything else. Uh, we get to Boba Fett and Valance who make their deal. Uh, we then cut to Kira who is uh, actually working with a Sith holocron uh, who says she has more in store. There's more surprises to be had um, and that this is not the end of her in this story arc. Uh, so that's cool as well because she had a great moment last issue with those dual lightsaber spears. Uh, so that was cool as well. Uh, we then cut to the security who is watching all around this uh, vessel. Uh, but then Boba Fett and Valance use an EMP and take out the security at the same time that uh, Leia, Chewbacca, Lando, and Han Solo, or, or, or Leia, Chewbacca, Lando, and C-3PO are trying to get past. So they get hit with the EMP as well. Uh, so Boba Fett uh, unknowingly took out two of his problems with one EMP. So it looks like Boba Fett and Valance are on their way into this facility to, to, save, Boba, or to save Han Solo. Uh, but then we cut to space, and they're surrounded by all these different ships. And Boba Fett's like, oh, come on. And just then we realize, oh, crap, these are all hut ships. And we don't know if they're here to help or to hinder Boba Fett. 
but it looks like it's not Jabba behind the uh, ship's wheel. Uh, it looks like the cousin of Jabba. So my guess would be they're there to help Boba, and it's actually gonna, they're gonna actually going to pull a full-out attack with him. Um, and it's going to be the Huts and, and Boba Fett and Valance and all these other uh, assassins teaming up to stop Darth Vader uh, from taking Han Solo. I think that's going to be how it ends. That's how this issue ends here. It's not a huge cliffhanger, uh, but it is enough to, to wet your lips for what that last issue. Uh, this last issue looks like it's got a big uh, focus on Kira, so I feel a feeling she's going to be a bigger part of the storyline than we know. Uh, but that was the end of issue four, Star Wars, War, Rise of the Bo Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, Attack at Dawn. Um, I give this one a six out of ten. It's an okay issue, uh, but it is more of a filler issue, a more connective issue <clears throat> than it does with moving the story forward in interesting ways like last issue was. Uh, so yeah, very excited for the last issue of this series. Um, I cannot wait to see where it ends, but let me know down below what you guys think of the Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters, War of the Bounty Hunters storyline. Uh, are you guys enjoying it or not? Let me know down below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and as always, guys, keep it right here on Dorkston. I've been your host, Ghost. Adios.